Meghan Markle's brother is being evicted from his home for non-payment of rent, DailyMail.com can reveal. Thomas Markle was accused of failing to pay three months of rent on the bungalow in Grants Pass, Oregon, where he lives with his fiancée Darlene Blount. The rent for the property is $1,500 a month meaning that Markle had allegedly fallen $4,500, including late fees. During a court hearing his exasperated landlord Paul Walter said that Markle had given him empty promises that he would pay up. Walter, who is married to 1960s Hammer Horror actress Yet Stensgard, the former wife of actor Tony Curtis also begged a judge to give him his money back. Under the court-approved settlement Markle, 52, and Blount, 37, must leave the $287,000 bungalow by the end of the day on April 5. Speaking to DailyMail.com Walter, who runs online news service News with Views, said that Markle owed him $4,500 for the rent in January, February and March. Walter said, Thomas Markle is a freeloader and doesn't pay his rent. He's always been late and it was always a week late or a day late. I shouldn't have rented to him in the first place. Walter said that he did not know that Markle had a famous sister when he rented to him, but he does now. He said, that last time we inspected the house was a year ago and it looked all right. I hope he didn't damage the house. Markle has signed the agreement to vacate by the 5th of April and I hope he does. If not we will get the sheriff to evict him. Markle's attorney Max Whittington did not return calls for comment. The episode is the latest brush with the courts from Markle and Blount, who have both been arrested for assaulting each other and have a tempestuous relationship. It will cause yet more embarrassment for Meghan, who is married to Prince Harry, ahead of the birth of their first child which is expected next month. Markle is Meghan's half-brother and they share the same father, Thomas Markle S.R., 73. He has been living in the property for around a year after moving there from a cabin in the woods where he and Blount had been holed up. The property has a large living and kitchen area and two bedrooms and when Markle moved in he saw it as a chance for him and Blount to make a new start for themselves. But court documents show that dream appears to have ended for Markle, who makes his living as a glazier. Among the documents is the stipulated judgment signed by attorneys for both parties which says Markle and Blount will leave by 11.59 p.m. on April 5. Markle initially fought back against his landlord and in a response to the eviction notice he wrote that it was illegal because an incorrect amount of money opening bracket was closing bracket demanded in notice. He claimed that the notice was served unlawfully and objected to being asked to pay a late fee. In another response Markle said that a letter about the rent for December was confusing. Both Markle and Blount were served with a residential eviction notice from the Josephine County Sheriff's Office. The document states, Notice to tenants, read these papers carefully, your landlord wants to evict you. On February 8, the couple were given a 72-hour notice to pay up or vacate the home. That led to a hearing on March 4 at the Josephine County Court where the judge asked both parties if they wanted a trial. Markle said that Walter is reasonable enough to talk to but Walter sounded angry and said he did not want to speak with him. Walter said, we just want them out, they haven't paid February rent. The judge said to Markle that essentially they're evicting you, they want you out. Markle responded that he would need at least two weeks to get out due to health problems. At the end of the five-minute hearing Walter said, How do we get paid for the months that he owes me? The judge said he would have to sue him to get the money and suggested he file a small claims case. An exasperated Walter said, I've never been in this position. We tried to work it out with him before but all we got were empty promises. The judge said that he can appreciate the frustration on Walter's behalf and the frustration with the system. The judge told the two parties to talk to work something out which they appear to have done because the trial did not take place and they came to a settlement. Under the terms of the agreement Walter was ordered to pay $83 costs and Marco had to pay $84.50. 
it does not appear that Marco or Blount were ordered to pay back the rent they owe. The last time Marco was in court was this January 4 when he was arrested for a DUI after appearing visibly intoxicated, according to one Oregon State Police report. His rap sheet includes an incident in January 2017 when he was arrested for threatening Blount with a gun. An official police log of the incident, which spelled his name wrong, said, opening bracket Marco closing bracket and Blount got into one argument. In his drunken state opening bracket Marco closing bracket grabbed a gun and pressed it to Blount's head in an attempt to get her to leave. Blount called 911 after locking herself in the bathroom for safety. On New Year's Eve in 2017, Blount was arrested for fourth-degree assault for allegedly beating Markle up. He later claimed he had inflicted the injuries himself and paid her $1,000 bail. Then in July last year Blount was arrested again for assault after yet another fight in which she gave Markle a black eye. After that episode the couple said they had quit drinking in the hopes they could save their relationship. Markle's relationship with Meghan has been non-existent for years and last April he wrote an open letter to Prince Harry saying his sister was obviously not the right woman for you. But he soon changed his tune and said their wedding the next month could bring our family closer together he did not get an invite. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.